Hi, welcome to Dana's Health Talks. Today I just want to spend a couple minutes talking about being an active participant in your health care. You know, some people say, my doctor's watching over my health and I go to my annual health care visit. Listen, you cannot expect a doctor to know in five minutes everything about you. You know you better than anybody else. You live in your body, you need to pay attention and be in tune with your body. And if there's something that you wanna improve about your health or you encounter a health challenge, I want to encourage you to look, look at finding a solution from all different perspectives. When you do go to a Western medical doctor, keep in mind, or when you go to any doctor or any healthcare provider, keep in mind that the opinion that they're going to give you and their expertise that they have is from the framework in which they were trained. So keep in mind with conventional medical doctors in America, the medical schools are very heavily influenced by the pharmaceutical industry. Oftentimes you will um, find solutions with them lying in surgery or drugs. Or they might say, I don't know how else to help you or there is nothing else to help you. I just wanna encourage you to educate yourself and keep searching and be open for possibilities from all different angles. Listen, I am not dissing on doctors. We need medical doctors. I appreciate them. I respect them. When I had a food reaction to something I ingested back in November, I still don't know what it was, but I was head to toe in hives and my face blew up. I looked like a monster. Trust me, I am so thankful for that urgent care and I was practically begging for that steroid shot. So we need them and they help us in, very, in, in many, many ways. But just keep in mind that there might be other solutions out there that they don't know about just because they don't encounter it in their training. I wanna give you an example. Back in 2011, I injured my, medical, my middle finger and I, I was very concerned. I thought I really damaged the tendon and I developed this hard lump that started pressing on my nerve. So I went to a specialist and he said, it's a ganglion cyst. Normally we don't do anything about it and you don't have to do anything about it if it doesn't bother you. But if it's getting to the point where it's unbearable, I, the, our solution is surgery. And so he gave me a script for an MRI because he wanted to do an MRI of my finger before doing surgery. And just that alone with my copay and deductible and all that, just the, just the MRI was gonna be $1,500. And so I, I decided to just start researching it just for the heck of it. And I found out about clay. Now, people have been using clay for thousands of years and we don't know about it because we don't hear about it. We're not educated about it, educated about it. There are different clay deposits that um, can heal different ailments and are used in various ways. And I learned about this um, red clay called Terramin, it's T-E-R-R-A-M-I-N. And it was $48 for a tub of clay. I learned that this could, hit, this could help dissolve ganglion cysts. And I thought, you know, for $48, what the heck? I, I might as well try it, because what happened was after that appointment, within a couple weeks, it was growing every day, this cyst, and it was pressing down on my nerves. I had horrible nerve pain up my arm and it was around my shoulder and it was getting to the point where it was unbearable. So I thought, I'll just try this clay for 48 bucks and see what happens. <laughs> Do you know, by the eighth day, I drank it twice a day. And by the eighth day, I woke up and my ganglion cyst had shrank 30% and had gotten off my nerve and all my nerve pain went away. Now it was dense and hard, so um, it took a while to go away. I had to drink it for a couple of months, but I had a friend with a big, like more fluid, fluid filled um, ganglion cyst on her wrist and her doctor as well said, the only solution is surgery. So I told her about this clay, she drank it twice a day and would you know that within a couple weeks, her cyst was completely gone and she never had to have surgery. So for $48, I got rid of my cyst and I didn't have to have surgery. I think that's pretty exciting. So I'm just encouraging you to just be open and, and research different viewpoints. You might find a different solution. So anyways, just keep in mind that you only have one body. And so I just encourage you to take care of it the best that you can. Again, thanks for watching. And until next time, have a great day.